Hello everyone, my name is Josh and this is Zip Automations Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome to this how-to video. Today I'll be taking you through a simple procedure for changing the IP address of an Allen Bradley Micrologist 1400 PLC. One of the most common challenges with Ethernet compatible PLCs is identifying the IP address. Without this, you can't connect to the PLC to troubleshoot or modify the program. So doing this with the Micrologist 1400 PLC is quite simple. You just make use of the keypad display. You press the escape button, it takes you, it brings you to this screen, which is the configuration screen. You scroll down to advanced settings. You click OK, then you scroll down to Ethernet configuration. You click OK. Now, um, the status, click OK, it shows you what the current IP address of the PLC is. Right now, the IP address of our PLC is 192.168.130. Just to also show you that from your RS links, we could see what the current IP address is. Um, in this window, which is the RSU window, we expand the Ethernet driver and you can see here my Micrologics 1400 PLC and it shows the current IP address which is 192.168.1.30, okay? So to change this IP address, I press escape and I scroll down to IP address. I click OK and um, there is no password so I click OK and we are good. Now, there are three different modes with which you can change your IP address. This one is set, this is static, okay. This is DHCP and here we have boot P. For this um, video, I will be doing static and I hit my OK button. Then I can just quickly change the IP to let's say 27 and I hit OK. You can also change the subnet mask, but uh, we leave it at 255, 255, 255 and 0. Click OK. You can also enter the gateway address if that um, is needed for your application. In this case, I just hit OK and we are good. Uh, press escape back to the main menu. And uh, our IP address has been set. So just to confirm that our IP address for the PLC actually has been changed, we come to RS Link software, which is the communication software for Allen Bradley PLCs. And as you can see here, you see that there's this cancel sign on the former IP address, which is 192.168.1.30. And one, the present IP address is just fine, which is 192.168.1.27. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.